hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is timmy kemza james so for our new and old subscribers you're welcome to a tutorial of this beautiful wrap dress or blouse sorry with a flay sleeve and it's reversible when you reverse it you have this high neck um top at the front and by by the time you turn the back it has sort of a wrap at the back so the front wrap is reversed to the back so the cutting video is up on my channel so do ensure to go and check for it and i'll be linking it up here for you to see so what i'm doing first off is to close off my dart so i have i ended up cutting um my lining pieces as well so i just marked my dart and sewed my dart closed both on my fabric and my lining pieces so i have two of that front side on fabric and two on lining so when i was done i joined right side facing right side and i sewed along the next side then i notched and i top stitched so that it will hold my lining properly at the back without poking out so when i was done i did the other side of it as well and i notched as well and i top stitched then i went ahead to do the same thing for the back i for the back is basically just straight and he has a normal that so i just um matched my lining and fabric right side facing each other and sewed the neck then i went ahead to close the hem of the back by the time i turned it then i added my dart to both sides of my back right so i marked my bust pan and i marked i sewed down my dart so by the time i was done sewing my dart i went ahead to join the shoulder of the front and the back together by joining all four panels together then i went ahead to turn one panel to the other side so that it conceals the shoulder properly or you can go ahead and do it just the way you would do your shoulder guys so i went ahead to do the other shoulder and i joined the body of the dress marking my sewing allowance and i joined it so by the time i was done i prepped my sleeve notched and i added um my lining to the sleeve then i added my sleeves and when i was done sewing my sleeve i went ahead to prepare my waistband but before then this is what the blouse looks like and now it's almost completed at this point so you can see the wrap overlaps properly so what i did is to mark um to find the midpoint of the blouse on the back side so i just joined the two front sides together and i found the back side on the midpoint at the back and i notched so i found i just measured around um my bodies right so i just marked from that midpoint i marked towards the center front or towards the wrap side and i have around 25.5 so i folded my band in half as well as i ironed it properly and folded it in half and i notched the the midpoint as well and i measured to get 25 then i made a wide notch or i just snipped through that 25.5 i cut it inwards according to the sewing allowance i need for the band so when i was done i just grabbed that side turned it to the wrong side of the band knowing fully well that the band is just folded into two i turned it to the wrong side and joined it then from the notched point one of the notch points i just sewed close the band so that it gives me sort of a rope like effect and i did the same thing for the other side so after sewing and um trimming off some of my sewing allowances i just went ahead to push it back out so that i can turn it i eventually just turned it back to the right side so i hope you understand and as you watch i you probably understand what i mean so that was what i did to the other side as well i sewed from the notched part to towards the the pointed edge or the hem and i just poked uh, cut out my sewing allowance and used my scissors to turn that to the right side so guys if you're watching up to this point and you're not subscribed to my channel 
please ensure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to get notified whenever i have a new video up on my channel and follow me on all my social media pages to make ends at james on instagram and facebook guys so what i did was the remaining opening at the middle that i left i just matched wrong side of the material to the one right side of the band then i sewed then i flipped it back up and i'm trying to conceal all the raw edges now and folding the sewing allowance on the band inwards so just like you would fix your waistband that was what i'm doing here totally and by the time i did this i'm done you can go ahead and give it a nice press so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys if you did please give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends guys subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed guys and please follow me on my social media pages so matthias on facebook timmy kemza also on facebook timmy kemza james on instagram and um so matthias on tiktok guys so see you in my next video hope you enjoy it bye